So let's look at this. They're saying where this line here is negative 2x because it's going down. See how it's going down? That negative 2 means it's a down. The positive 3 must go up. Where they meet, that's the solution. So where they meet, it means the y is going to be the same. So that's why we say these two will be the same number. Here, you can almost look at it and say it's going to be one, negative 1 for y and negative 1 for x. That's what it looks like. So let's just plug it in. We can even find it. Look at that. Negative 1, negative 1. x equals negative 1. y equals negative 1. This is great. They're telling us right there. Look at that. Oh, hi. Yeah. Here we go. <coughs> Look at that. Oh, that's another one. Let's go over here. There we are. Look at this. Look at this. It goes negative 1, negative 1. They're showing it to us. We just have to put in that point.